Hi, and welcome back to Wrap Up Thursday. I'm your artist, Tammy, with the TMH Art Studio. I also have a class that I teach adults as well as kids at um, called Dream Big. So welcome. Hopefully we get to wrap up this sunflower uh, tonight. Uh, since I have three more to do, i like to definitely get this done I would like to get it done tonight. So, which to some might be a true blessing. <laughs> um, I may talk less just to um, finish this up. There's so much still to do on it, but I think what I'm gonna try and do is focus more on, on just that is wrapping it up. Now, some will probably be like, yay, uh, if you've been following me. And I do want to thank you for that. Um, also, remember to like me, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, just so that you can also keep up with what I'm doing. And I promise that the paintings will get a little bit more exciting. Um, unless you are liking sunflowers, then... Hopefully you're learning a lot from from me on this one. Or you're just a really good friend out there who is liking me because you like me. <laughs> and I thank you for that. So again, um, my objective tonight on this fabulous Thursday is to wrap this one up so we can move on to the next few sunflowers as always when you're painting look for um, shapes it'll make it go a lot easier and you won't feel so overwhelmed When you go to put any black in, just put a little bit and work with that black. Try not to go in and bring in too much, especially if you're wanting to move it around. It can um, take over and start making your painting look a little bit muddy. So since my painting's been sitting for about a week, it's um, cured pretty good. So. If I find I don't like it, all I gotta do is take a water brush and wipe it up. So again, I'm just looking at the different shapes. I've been pulling my other paintings out to see where I'm at in finishing up or wrapping up other paintings that I've started or drawings and it's not as bad as I thought it would be so I'm kind of excited that um, it may not take me as long to finish it so I won't feel guilty for having so many unfinished paintings. The promise I made myself is that I would wrap them up this year. Several of them are very large, especially the one after this one is extremely large. But I'm hoping that I will attack that a little bit different to 
finish it up a little bit quicker. So the areas that I want to pop a little bit more, I'm adding white for the yellow. exactly match the, the painting I'm working from. I'm using the painting or the, sorry, I'm using the photograph as a reference and the different shapes of petals. I didn't want them to all look uniform. So I found a reference photo I'll put the photographer's name down um, here. I think it was William. I'm using his photograph to um, for this particular flower. I think I found a few other artists that I'll be using their flowers. Again, for different uh, layout. Instead of throwing the paint away, especially if I'm going to be working with the same paint palette, um, sometimes I'll put a little bit too much on my palette. So instead of discarding it, I will put it in a sandwich bag with a damp towel or um, a sponge to keep the paint dry. I mean, not dry. <laughs> Keep the paint um, from drying out. But what happens sometimes is that it starts to, it does start to dry. Which is starting to happen here. Some of the colors I need have, um, are starting to um, dry a little bit. And of course, um, Unlike watercolor, you cannot reactivate your palette with um, water. You have to pretty much start from scratch, clean the palette up, and put fresh paint down, which is fine. I will go two or three paintings before I do that. Um, my painting that I do on Wednesday, I've also been using some of the colors in this palette. So I was able to um, make the paint go even further. But I think I used up quite a bit for that process and um, may have to stop here for a minute and freshen some of this up. bit of my burnt sienna. So I hope um, you guys are sharing with me the paintings that you're working on. Let me check them out and see what you're wrapping up. Or even if it's new that you just started working on a new sunflower with me so that you can um, practice making better sunflowers or looking at different ways to paint them and I happen to be one of them you came across that's awesome and I'm just going to be grabbing some um, burnt sienna As 
as I've mentioned before in my other videos, I have found that there's a lot of people who like sunflowers. In fact, I think usually Stone Mountain or somewhere around here in Georgia has a um, sunflower festival. I know Stone Mountain has a daisy festival, but I think with the pandemic and everything, a lot of the festivals have been canceled. But there's a few getting ready to start back up this year, so I'm really excited about that. I have a few, um, one for sure, Highlander Games, um, that I want to um, work on pieces for that, which, and the, for Wednesday, my new painting, which I have to give Wednesday um, a better name for new paintings. Um, I'll come up with that and so like my wrap up Thursday, I need uh, new beginnings Wednesday. Ah, uh, this is really flow as well. But anyways, I have a few that I've been excited, very excited to start on Wednesday. And then I'll slowly start doing some Highlander paintings that I will have for sale for them when the event starts. But right now I'm just trying um, to keep painting. Today has been a very rough day for me. So to sit down and paint really was not on my list of want of what I want to do. In fact, I put it off longer than I wanted to. I try and start at seven, and today it was um, I got a late start on this. Um, I just it was just a bad day, and I could have walked away and said nope which I came close to doing, uh, but I was hoping that when I get done, I will feel a little bit better, because right now, I just, do you ever have one of those where you just want to sit down and cry for, not necessarily no reason, but things that you really don't have control over, that's kind of been my day. I think this pandemic is caught up with me. I know it catches up with everybody at different times. And this last few months, it's really starting to hit home for me. And it happens mostly when I stop working or stop painting and then take a moment to breathe and that's when it all hits. But I'm giving myself a, a year. So this time next year, well more towards the beginning of April, we'll see where I'm at. I make some really hard decisions on where I go next. I've been wanting to make this part of my full day living and it's, I'm not saying it's been easier for some people, um, but it's not been easy for me. My, I do have a small support group, but majority of them are up north. And it's just me down here in the south, and that's part of where things are going to change next year on where everything goes here for the next year if I can weigh it out, if I can make it. But 
giving it all to God and trusting Him. Because at times, I don't know about the rest of you, it gets it scary. But we're not here to talk about negative stuff or sad stuff. We're here to talk about sunflowers and happier days, positive thinking. Again, just keep working your lights and darks, watch your shapes. Also, um, when you're working on these, right now we're just seeing these petals or this sunflower. But once you get this done, we got the greenery in, I got all my other sunflowers in. This sunflower is going to get pushed back. It's not going to be the, the center focus of attention uh, because it'll have so much more going on around it that you won't be focusing on it like we are right here. The reason we're focusing so much on it right now is because it's what's what we're working on. So slowly, it'll all come together. Just keep, just keep painting. Don't stop. Just keep working it. And then if there's sections you don't like, just let them go. And then when we go back to touch up on the end of getting this done even sooner, or once we get close to getting it done, sorry, I got distracted there. Um, you can go back in and do touch-ups. Do some fixing here and there. But my objective is to move a little bit quicker on this one tonight. I said I wasn't going to talk much. And look what I'm doing. thing I can tell you to do when you're painting that I always enjoy doing or I did more so until um, I started recording these is um, special water is um, playing music or listening to a book in the background I could easily go in and knock that out um, but then I'd have to do voiceover and Right now, I don't know about the rest of you, I don't have time to do voiceover. So we just kind of sit here in silence, at least on my part. On your part, you, you do get to hear some music in the background. So 
so like I said, just keep building and building um, the colors, keep working it again. When this gets more full with greenery and everything, a lot of what's happening here will get pulled away. And definitely watch your shadows because some of them do follow um, the shape of the petal, if not next to it, beside it, on top of it. behind it. Sometimes the transparency of it is um, picking up the way the light's hitting it. It's picking up a shadow behind the petal. And whatever it's play casting down through there. So just take a few minutes out and make them pop a little bit. Make sure you're putting your shadows in. And again, like I said, there'll be a point where I'm going to want to move on and then I'll come back to add a little bit more detail because then I'll see the whole picture put together. Sometimes what happens, which is what happened with this one and a few other things, don't get me wrong. I enjoy sitting and painting, but sometimes life does interfere and you have to stop. You have to do something else or someone is asking something of you and you're getting pulled in a different direction while I still try and help those who ask I'm still trying to find that time just for me to paint The only thing I can tell you is like, keep at it, just keep, keep painting or drawing or sewing or crocheting or whatever it is you enjoy doing. Set time aside to take a break and escape. And there will be times where get in, involved in what I'm painting and that's when I will also that's when I get lost so I don't talk as much so is there any medium out there that you've found that you're really enjoying I took a good inventory this weekend on my supplies at home just to see what all I have that I can mix it up after a bit. And I found a few things that I'm going to have to do some research on and see how it's done and then dive into it. So I am kind of excited on that. But that again is with new paintings. Again, I'm just keep going back and forth. Wherever I put my white, I want the yellow to make it pop a little bit more. Making sure I put my shadows in where I need them. I'm kind of washing over with the yellow on the areas that are being shaded just so there is some yellow going in and it doesn't get too muddy like right in here I feel like it just got a little too muddy so I'm gonna try and brighten it up a little bit but still it'll, it'll still stay in shadow again there's excuse me there's no mistake in art only happy accidents as Bob Ross would say. So 
so I am getting to a point here where I can easily maybe move on give this this one a break and come back to it now okay not everybody will be doing what I'm doing some will do this until it's complete nothing wrong in that and nothing wrong with me leaving this area and coming back to it I just feel that I've been on this long enough this is part four for this portion of my sunflower and I think I like to go to a different section I know this is why some people do bounce around on their paintings so they don't get um, stuck and then you're not it's not coming together it's just not looking right it's because you've been looking at it too long and slowly I think that's what's happening here now is I'm looking at it too long I mean it's coming together but I know there's more that I can be doing to it but I think I need to step back a little bit So anxious to get this painting done so I got to be careful because I don't want to start off clean and um, detailed and then just throw the paint down and then it's, it's just gonna look like I rushed and that's not what I'm trying to do I don't want to make these look like I rushed through them after I put so much hours in them um, that's why I've been giving myself a, a break in between and doing it a new one so I don't get burned out on on the, the sunflowers when it all comes together. When you're up close on top of it like this, it's not, it's, it, it, I mean, it'll come together, but it's just gonna feel like it's missing something. All right, I have to get a little bit more black, the black I had in here. I didn't realize how much I used. I wanna incorporate a little bit more shadows in here with lines. And I want to move on at a good point. I just don't want to stop and and not, you know, leave it in a unfinished type section of where I could have taken a few more minutes out and work a little bit more on the shadows and um, some of the sections. Keep looking at your reference. I just felt this was too hard in here.
think my black was just too dark and that's what was causing me not liking it. So I'm mixing some burnt sienna and some um, black in to start working more on these shadows so this way it's not just pure black. black was just too hard. And when your paint stops moving around, your brush just kind of got um, uh, dry. So that's when you go in and just rinse it off and get your brush re-damped and, and, you know, continue. Like I said, I know at one point I could speed these up if um, they're too much and just watching me paint. And I might later on, finding that people think they're, if they're too long, I can go back in and speed them up. Sometimes you don't know if anybody wants to see every detail that you're doing. Less detail, more detail in between half and half. Now when I'm able to really go live with people that's when I, I know I can get more feedback. But I need to reach those numbers. So I do hope you'll like and subscribe. Even if right now sunflowers are not your thing, I will be having other more exciting pieces. Well, hopefully they're exciting. So right now before I call this quick for the moment, I'm just trying to get some sh more shadow in. Now, if you're big into blending, letting this cure for so many days, and I'm also using a lot of water, you're not, I mean, you'll still get a good blend, but you're not going to be blending what is underneath because, of course, it's already cured to your canvas. But you can still, if you use the right amount of paint, you can still get some good blending or washes in. To give the effect that you're trying to get across. And again too, I'm trying not to, to rush. Because I don't want to later on wish I took a little bit more time on it. And I can always go back in and work on it. But my objective is Wrap up Thursday means wrapping it up and moving on to a new piece. Otherwise, I'm never going to get them done. Like I said, I've been finding and seeing some really exciting pieces that I want to um, work on. But I need to I need to start with a clean plate of nothing lingering. 
I don't want to, when my time comes to have all these pieces sitting around and get discarded, I'm hoping that my work will get noticed enough to where people will want them and I won't, I mean I won't be around but it'll be sad to know my pieces landed in the trash. I think that's um, one of my, not my biggest fears but it'd be sad to do all of this. I do have a plan though so it won't happen so I will make sure that it doesn't happen. All right, so I think I'm at a good stopping point for this right now. I'm starting to pick up some of the areas that are not completely dry like this one here. I'm picking the paint back up, so um, that's something you have to watch too. You're almost creating more work for yourself when you don't let it dry and you go back and you start picking the paint up. one on here just to do um, update shadows and update some brightness that might be dull in some areas so we're gonna call this one done and I'm gonna go out here with my slightly dang it brush and this is where I had my chalk marks from where I indicate where I the size of my circle. I was trying to do some estimate estimation on uh, making sure I don't go too big because I didn't want it to compete with the the flower on top. Alrighty then. So this will be a good time that we can look at putting in some greenery. So what I'm going to do, let me grab So the dollar store now has um, Crayola chalk, which is awesome for a buck. You can never not have enough chalk. What's great about chalk, especially on acrylic, is you can easily go in and wipe off, you know, wipe it off when you're done. So now it's this is where I'm going to chalk it out because I I want to make sure that where I'm putting my um, leaves work well and I don't want to cause let me make sure you're getting all of this I want to make sure I don't cause any tangents so I'm just going to go in and slightly rough out my leaf this is kind of exciting that I'm at this point where I'm able to, to do this. In all honesty, <laughs> I didn't feel like I was going to get that puppy done. I mean, it's not done, but at a, a good standstill. So I think these are the, the back of your, of the sunflower that has, um, some things coming out, a couple leaves, and these really weird things. Um, okay, so let's put one back here. And right now, this is just placement. Um, the 
probably change up a little bit. Like I said, that's a good thing about working with chalk is that you're able to go back in and erase a lot of it by just wiping it off with um, water. So again, this is just placement. I'm just making sure that it works with what I'm doing. So I know I've got some sunflowers that I'm gonna do down below, but I think I want my greenery to be behind my sunflower that's um, happening in this section down here. So I'd rather have my greenery down first and then I can paint over top of it by knocking it out with, um, you know, when I go to knock it out. So let me turn it just a little bit and And again, a lot of these are going to change up when I start painting on them because I do like to draw with my paint. Turn it a little bit more. Okay, bear with me while I try to set this up so it doesn't fall. So I have another leaf here and I just wanted to see where the stem would go down if I need it. Um, it might not be needed because the leaf will probably, whoa, sorry guys, will probably cover this. My makeshift um, camera thing is having some issues. All right. So I think... I think we're good right now for the greenery. Okay. So again, this is just for placement. I'll worry about the flowers at the bottom once I get down there. I'm still going to focus on this one a little bit. So I'm not set up for green because I did not realize I would get this far this quickly today. And since I've got Still about 15 more minutes. Let's see about putting some down. So um, in green, you'll always notice there's some blue and yellow and white um, that you work with. Um, for some reason, I do enjoy working with and painting leaves. They're just so very interesting. Um, make sure I got the section I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So we're gonna work on, I believe this one right here. And let's see how far we can get done. So sometimes what I do too, even though I have it drawn out, I'll go back in and as I'm painting, I'll start knocking it out and here I'm just using a little bit of green and white to start knocking in my, my leaf So this one has quite a bit of um, sunlight flowing through the, the leaf. So it's going to be a lot lighter than some of the other ones just because of the way the angle is. So again, I'm looking at my shape. This will build up um, once I get the paint flowing. Just keep going back and forth. 
working my colors. Is it too close with my with uh, my brush? It wasn't feeling right. The reason why I pulled back. I'm just going to keep blending and blending until I have it the way I want. Now my brush was feeling dry, so be aware when you paint enough, when your brush starts to feel dry, it's the paint won't move. You can't. It feels stiff against the paint, and that just means your brush is getting dry. Sometimes it happens when you're you have too much paint loaded on your brush. You just need to um, go in and rinse some of it off. So I'm just grabbing some blue and green and just, again, I'm looking at my, what's going on. At first it's not gonna look like much, but once you keep working at it, you step back, you um, or you leave it for the day and you come back the next day, you're just like, wow, it did come together. But just keep looking at, look at the shape. What is it telling you? What is it saying? Which way is it flowing? There, my paints um, is getting uh, hard to move around. So see the change right there, just by damping my brush a little bit helped. So I just keep going back and forth. With Some of those where I'm knocked out the, the yellow on that tip when I come back to touch up it'll be easy just to pop in that little bit of that um, yellow again there's no mistakes sometimes that things are just too little and I could 
could use a smaller brush. Just excited to be on the the greenery. Okay, tap out of my yellow. I was did a toucan the other day, so it needed a lot of yellow. That's all my yellow is. Tapped out. Again, keep referring to your reference. Now, it may not come together right at the beginning, just keep keep working it keep looking at the reference work with what it's trying to show you break it down again like I'm always saying for this one we are not a leaf look in the mirror we don't look like a leaf so we don't know it and how it's falling and forming um, against the sky against the sun reflection through it and just keep working it back and forth sometimes it takes a little bit to build it up get the color just right. And sometimes once I have it, or got the paint down, I can, it's easy to go back and start moving around with the water to try and get that effect that you want. said there's there's I'm sure a lot of people going I go faster do this do that understand um, my objective is just winding down my day by painting and hanging out with y'all I'm just happy to be painting Earlier, I this has been a bad day and came close to not painting, and now I'm so glad I did because look where I'm at. I sort of finished my sunflower and working on a leaf, which I'll have to probably come back to because I'm sure I'm, I'm, our time is almost up. And sometimes it takes putting the whole leaf, the whole picture together before it really starts taking shape. So maybe right now I'm not seeing it on this part, but maybe once I put this side in, 
it will pull this side together. Let's see if I can find some of my yellow. decisions that yes I would say don't do but then I know that would have been a domino effect for something else that was actually really good so the only thing I think I would do if I was able to go back is to tell myself don't stop painting don't let anyone stop you from being with all the A to B. I allowed that to happen and I was at a point in my life where I don't like to brag but I was actually getting pretty good at it. I found my niche and then I let somebody talk me out of spending so much time in it they got jealous. sense to get back into it. Now with it just me, I'm slowly getting back into it, but it's hard to be your own cheerleader. How many of you out there are your own cheerleader? cherish it, thank them for being there while you do this. up an hour. Again, I am so excited that I am now on the greenery. Um, this will take a little while to do. Not as long as it took for the petals and the sunflower. Now, I'm not saying that sunflower is done, but I feel comfort enough to move on to another section of it, which is the leaves. So I'm going to leave you here with this leaf that I know I'll be coming back to and working some more on. Um, I feel like I'm just in the beginning building stage of it to get it where I want it to be. So I hope you enjoyed this portion of the sunflower. Again, I want to thank you for coming and joining with me on Wrap It Up Thursday. Please uh, share, like, uh, subscribe and um, let me see what you're working on show me below um, your progress on if you're doing a sunflower or something that you've put off share with me let me see what you're doing I would love to see and also support you for wrapping up your projects on wrapped up Thursday so thank you again for coming thank you for joining me 
Um, you guys have a great day and I'll see you next week. Until then, take care guys.